We've seen what we do on the agency side. So what if you're a small business owner and you want to actually um, get production uh, done with each, you know, each post um, and make sure that you're on point and that you're doing very well. Uh, what I do is I actually assign per week when items are due. So that's one of the other things I love about creating these um, top portions of uh, you know when what week we do what and I actually sort of break down the week a little differently so that's a Monday Monday the 31st and I stop the calendar for social media on Saturday we don't post on Sundays we just don't um, and it's just easier that way we seem to seem to do well with it I can also break down like what weeks we're doing and you can always add a section so if you wanted to continue on the calendar you would just hit that so it's pretty pretty straightforward um, when we go into let me see if I have a production area here which I believe I do published ah, okay production so the production area is where I tell my assistant hey, um, uh, can you please go ahead and scope up um, uh, content, um, informational content, and then, you know, get the proper links, the proper hashtags, and then we can go ahead and um, look at that imagery. So here it looks like it's a Reels uh, product. So um, from that point, she will go ahead, when she's done, she'll um, assign it to me. And I will say, yes, this is now ready for schedule. And the way that I do that is I'm very clear. Like I will say, um, and this is the cool thing, you can tag people in. So the email will go to this person. It will go to this person anyway because it's she's assigned to it. Um, but it's really good to, to get in the habit just in case that area of the mark, you know, the marquee area is not assigned and then you got to cover by addressing them and you would just, you know, say this is, this is ready for publishing. Oops. And then to make it easy, I, I, I did this method where just please publish on the due date listed above. So they, she knows, Grace knows that the due date will signify the published date of when we want her to schedule this content um, on social media. And sometimes I'm even more specific because there's a lot of different accounts floating per each, each you know, where do you want this posted basically. So uh, please post. You can be very specific. The more specific, the more time you give in the beginning, the, the you'll actually start training the, the the VA for knowing what you want done. So please po please post on you know Instagram and Facebook. Um, also post on stories. Like any detail that you want to be able to put on there, do this here. There's Grammarly working for me, telling me that I need a comma. <laughs> There you go. And then you hit comment and then it goes directly to them, right? It automates an email to them. So this um, virtual assistant will get those updates in real time, which is amazing. Um, and then you progress that particular project going forward. So that is the way I work with them. Make sure that these are done. When that assistant assigns it back to you and they put you there, then do it. <laughs> it's just that simple. And and really adhere to those due dates. Know that um, if they produce a lot of content for you already and they haven't heard from you back so they can't schedule those um, uh, significant posts for your, for your company, then know that you're dropping the ball. And that is the way that you set a tone for a campaign, right? You're the leader. You're the leader of your business. You're the leader of your campaign. So make sure that you adhere and that you really respect due dates so they can do the same. So that's my best advice for you um, as a business owner for sure. So, um, you know, get, grabbing these, um, well, actually, let's go here. Grabbing these elements on your campaign, on your Asana board. So you're going to want to go ahead, and this is how you hit the new project. You're going to hit here. You're going to hit blank project. You're going to say, um, I don't know, we'll do production again. Production. Um, and then you're going to use the board one. The list one is just like it literally laundry list stuff out and you don't want that. 
um, you want to go ahead and use board. That way you can see all of this. And this is kind of the viewpoint of what calendar looks like. So calendar will actually set up those tasks for you and it's going to look like this. Timeline. So if you're a Gantt chart person, this might work for you. In social media, this is the best platform because you can actually see the image. So that's why we use board um, in the um, in this particular um, project management tool. So it's just easier to do. Once that's done, you hit next, and then it starts publishing that particular project here. Um, you would assign your person. So if you want to invite someone and your uh, teammate is not on here or your assistant's on, not on here, this is where you go ahead and assign that stuff. So that is it. I'm going to go ahead and get off here. Otherwise, I will wax on poetically for like an hour. <laughs> Um, what are all the things that you can do here? But it's pretty straightforward. You will catch on. Let me know in the comments what you think.